Still with me? Awesome. There's just one more thing I want to show you before I call it quits for the night, and hopefully you do as well. And that is how to do a minor, simple template override of the front end appearance. Now it's worth noting that any of the community files that appear within the views folder, along with the CSS style sheet, can be overridden or extended by creating a copy of that file and placing it in an appropriately named folder within the theme directory on your server. Since I'm running on localhost, mine's going to be a slightly different experience regarding how I get to these folders, but in terms of what I place and where I place it, it's going to be the same as what you'll do even on an FTP client, so keep this in mind. What I want to do before I even jump into it is I'm going to change this publish icon to something different. Let's say instead of this checkbox that it comes with by default, for whatever reason, I want to use, say, an RSS icon. I've downloaded the RSS icon I want to swap this out with onto my desktop. And now it's just a matter of doing the override so that the system knows to pull from my file instead of the one that's in the source plugin. So what I'm going to do is open up my server, which in this case is just my local host environment, go into my site, and go into the WP content folder. Now, instead of going into plugins, we're going to go into themes. I'm running the 2011 theme right now, so that's what I'm going to jump into. And then right within this folder, on the top level within the 2011 theme folder, I'm going to create a new folder simply called events, all lowercase. Don't need to worry about putting anything in it yet until we click into it. Now we're going to create another folder within it, this one called community, again, lowercase. Now, I'm going to take my RSS icon, which I have labeled as publish.png. If you want to find the appropriate labeling for how you, should, how you should brand each icon, it's absolutely doable by just going into the source plugin code, jumping into the resources folder, clicking into icons. You'll see there's draft.png, pending.png, and publish.png. What I'm modifying, of course, is publish.png. So I've made sure that my RSS icon has matched that title. Drag and drop it into this community folder we just created. So again, the hierarchy is theme, events, community, file. And now if I go back over to the front end and refresh the my events list, we'll see that that icon has indeed been swapped. Now that was just a very simple template override. You can go quite a bit more in depth depending on what you want to do. Since any of the files in that views folder can be customized and overridden, you have quite a bit of flexibility here. This just shows you how to do it and that you have to actually create the folders within your theme directory, which is something that a lot of people get hung up on. Keep that in mind. We will have more advanced theming documentation coming out as we move forward with community events. There might not be too much now that we just launched the plugin today, but as we go forward over the next week or two, there will be quite a bit more added. So keep that in mind as well. Otherwise, you should be all set. Thank you for watching this screencast, and thank you for buying community events. Have a great afternoon.